Hi, this is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to best in the top lane. So first in solo queue, I'd say it's a decently strong pick. You don't win most matchups outright, and you have difficulty pushing the wave sometimes, but I'd say you can be a uh, force to be reckoned with if you fight around the right times and you make use of your smite, your challenge smite as, as with the all team. Uh, out of time, I rate him a uh, 7, since, like I said, he has trouble sometimes pushing waves in and making a lot of plays early because of that. But you can definitely get tanky enough to be a, a very annoying champion to deal with for the enemy team. So in laning phase, you want to take small trades with one auto attack since your W does a pretty high base damage over time. And generally, you want to just be last hitting and farming early on until you get some points in the W and until you get your ultimate. After that, you can look to make all-in trades with your ulti, as almost no one is going to be able to win a 1v1 if you place your, your ulti on them. Ideally, when you would be waiting for your jungle item, either the just to save this challenging smite or the actual cinder hole completed item, because that's when you're going to get the most, the highest power spike out of your build, and you'll be able to out brawl anyone in a 1v1. So top of his doesn't really have any bad matchups, and you generally want to pick him into things that want to try to fight you. For example, things like Riven, you can definitely win against with your Skimmishu Saber and your tanky, tanky setup. So you want to pick him into things that don't pressure you too much early game, as, as in pushing you in um, heavily. So he's not the greatest into Rumble for this reason, and you can pick him into most tanky champions Preferably either uh, um, a melee champion or a champion that won't have that much uh, pushing pressure onto you. So in team phase, it's a fist, you want to be either getting a flank on, a, on, an, on an enemy carry or trying to hit the front line a little bit just to get them low. But ideally, you want to stay away from the tanky guys that can lock you down and just try to zone out the back line as you're very hard to deal with and lock down. It's better to just come up from a flank and trying to blow a summoner on a carry and force the enemy to react to you as you can just E away from them and buy some time for your team to come back and uh, win the fight. My number one tip for face would be a very important thing to win all in trades with them is always making sure that you dodge an ability with your E as you can win a lot of trades if you dodge a major ability or, for example, if you're playing against, say, a Hecarim, if you dodge his ultimate with your E, then you'd definitely be ahead in that all-in. And uh, the same applies for a lot of other matchups, like a Riven ultimate you can dodge, and etc. So always keep an eye on any ability that you can dodge with your E. You should always try to get it done, so you'll come out ahead in the 1v1s. For Ruin some fist stop, you want to go for attack speed marks, armor requents, scaling health seals, and scaling CDR glyphs. Reason for this setup is that you want to be as tanky as possible and the attack speed helps you in the early game as well as when you hit your power spikes with your W. And hitting a very high CD cooldown reduction cap later in, in the game is very important as Fizz. So the CDR glyphs per level are pretty important as well. For Masteries for Fizz, I like to go for 21.90 Masteries as you have a lot of damage at your disposal and you don't really need to make use of the tanky defensive masteries. For skill order, you want to get your W level 1 so you can do the camp or just trade in lane. Level 2, you want to get either Q or E. E is the more defensive skill if you're scared to get ganked, but you can get either, it's fine. As long as you have one point in each by level 3 and then you're going to be maxing your W, maxing your E second, and lastly maxing your Q. For summoner spells, you should go for TP Smite in order to make use of Cinder Hulk and Skirmisher Saber for your trades. Or you can also go for an Ignite TP if you want to have a higher kill pressure against some lanes. It depends on whatever you're facing against. If you need the Ignite to secure the kill or deny some healing effects, then you should go for that. Or if you want to scale better into a late game and just make more 1v1 plays, then going for Smite is a better option. For item build on fifth stop, you want to always start with a Flask and 3 potions. Rarely, some, some situations you would want to start with a Cloth Armor and 5 Potions if they have an AD top and an AD jungler. Say they have Riven and Rek'Sai, then Cloth Armor and 5 Potions would probably be better. But otherwise, stick with the Flask start. And then after that, look into rushing your Cinder Hulk item. Um, 
it depends. Uh, sometimes if you're facing something like a rumble, then you might want to rush a cowl instead. But most of the time, you'll be rushing your Cinder Hulk Skirmisher Saber item and be making use of that since you can't really uh, benefit from smites as much since you don't push the lane early uh, efficiently. And after that, you want to go for tanky items or items that give you um, a good amount of kill pressure in lane. So you can go for a Blade of the Ruin King or a Triforce as your main damage item, as a second or third item. But overall, you want to just be getting your defensive items like Frozen Heart, the Spirit Visage, Randuin, stuff like that that makes you tanky. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides here at lawclass.com.